This paper provides the first scientific study on shark depredation and recreational spearfishing in the Great Barrier Reef region. Shark interactions are occurring more frequently and most notably within the spearfishing community. In recent years, the number of sightings and direct contact individuals have experienced with sharks while spearfishing is perceived to increase. However, it is critical we consider that humans are frequenting their environment on a larger temporal and spatial scale than ever before. Sharks are optimistic feeders, and as such, they adapt to the changes in their environment. As fishing pressures increase, the association to boats and spearfishermen with food will likely become more prominent. As part of an initiative to further understand our impacts, a quantitative study was taken in Townsville, Queensland over a two-day spearfishing event. The study integrated citizen science to collect data of spearfisher catch and effort, as well as shark interactions and depredation in a boat-based recreational spearfishing competition. The competition consisted of nine vessels with a total of 33 competitors, resulting in a total catch of 144 fish within a 115 hour effort. 20 written questions including location, effort, catch, shark species observed and depredation behavior were given to competitors and also asked directly by interview. The competition took place between South Mission Beach to Cape Upstar. During the event a total of 358 sharks had been sighted. Distribution between species mainly comprised of the grey reef shark, which accounted for 64% of sightings. Total effort in the spearfishing competition took place in these locations and a total of 9 speared fish were fully depredated by sharks. This resulted in a 5.9% depredation rate. This included 4 pelagic and 5 reef fishes. Shark depredation is where a shark partially or completely consumes a fish caught by a specific fishing method before being retrieved. The Spanish mackerel was the most common pelagic fish weighed in the competition and had a depredation rate of 9.1%, higher than the average of 6.2% for all fish. The grey reef shark was responsible for up to 60% of shark depredation events, and 11% or one incident each to bull sharks, great hammerheads and white tip reef sharks. Anecdotal reports suggest depredation events have significantly increased over the last 10 to 20 years, making it considerably important to quantify the potential implications it may bring on targeting fish species. 60% of interviewees had perceived that shark numbers had increased over the past 10 years. The depredation in fishing activities can be similarly compared to the natural feeding behaviors exhibited by sharks, where sharks opportunistically prey on injured or unhealthy fish. The highly evolved sensory systems of sharks may respond to human activities. For example, a shark may detect the auditory cues of a boat engine, visual cues of a flasher, or olfactory cues of burly. The sound of a fish struggling after being speared has also shown to attract sharks. As spearfishers, we have the opportunity to make more informed decisions about where to fish and which individual fish to target. With the risks associated with shark interactions while spearfishing and a reported increase in interactions, there are a few things that you can do to proactively minimize your risk. The Queensland Government Shark Smart Initiative advises spearfishers to not have a fish near your body, aim to kill your catch quickly, bring your catch to the surface and quickly remove it from the water, always spearfish with a buddy or group, have a plan with your buddy, agree on hand signals for how to enter and leave the water, avoid spearfishing at dawn or dusk, Spearfish in clean water where you have good visibility. If it looks fishy, it could be sharky. Stay away from schools of bait fish or diving birds. Be careful of steep drop-offs where sharks may feed. And if you see a shark, stay calm, leave the water and move to a new site if continuing spearfishing. Do not feed, touch or provoke sharks. Consider first aid training and have a first aid kit. The use of citizen science research from spearfishers may be useful for fisheries, marine park management and sustainability in the future. We hope to continue this citizen science initiative for the years to come for the NQBI and encourage other spearfishing events around the world to follow.